All right, so in this one, guys, I want to talk about the domain of the composite function f of g of x. Okay. Um, so that's going to look initially like f of 1 over x plus 3. Okay. Now I'm going to replace that 1, of, 1 over x plus 3 into the square root function. So it's going to look something like 1 over x plus 3 minus 2. Okay. And that's, you can simplify that, but that's, that's ultimately f composite g of x. That's what we're looking for. Um, I want to talk about how we find these domains. First thing, remember, is to look at the domain or, or see if there's any restrictions for the inside function. Restrictions for uh, inside. Okay, so the inside function here is x. So we know that that restriction, x cannot be negative 3 because that would get a division by 0. So we need to make sure that that's part of our answer for our domain. But the second part then is to look at our final um, function here. In that final function, we know we cannot take, because it's a square root, we cannot take square roots of negative numbers. So what we want to do is we want to force uh, the 1 over x plus 3 minus 2 to be greater than or equal to 0. So I go through and I add 2 to both sides, 1 over x plus 3 greater than or equal to 2. Multiply both sides by x plus 3, so I get 1 is greater than or equal to uh, what ends up being, after I distribute, 2x plus 6, subtract 6, so you get negative 5, uh, 2x over here, so x ends up being less than or equal to negative 5 halves. Okay, so here's the issue. Number y, or number line wise, we've got uh, two, we've got two uh, values here. Okay, two domain restrictions. Okay, one of them is a a singular value, negative three. Okay, hold on a second. All right, so we got this one value here at negative three, and we also then have these values at negative five halves. So negative five halves is you know negative two point five. So right that way, negative two point five. Uh, and this is saying that I've got to have values that are less than or equal to that. So we would think norm number line wise, maybe that idea with an open dot here at negative 3. But this is where we run into problems. Uh, if, we, if we don't think about what's going on kind of in the background and, and that under realizing that there's a graphical approach to this, if I were to choose some numbers over here like negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, okay, uh, see if we can do one like, uh, you know, negative 10. Sorry about that. My daughter thought she needed to add her input to the video. Uh, so if I try negative 10, I'm going to have 1 over uh, negative 7. Okay, 1 over negative 7 minus 2, which now becomes a larger negative value underneath the radical. Well, we can't take square roots of negatives. Okay, so even though that this interval told, told us to use these numbers, they really don't work. Okay, so those values do not get counted. So we need to actually cut off that. That's two. Okay. That is not two. Um, that's... Sorry about that again. So these values over here, like negative 10, negative 5, negative 8, they're not going to work. Okay. So now if I try numbers inside here and plug them in. Okay. So let's try uh, like negative 2.75. Okay. Well, negative 2.75 is going to give me uh, 1 over, okay, so 1 over uh, negative 2.75, negative 2.75 plus 3 is going to give me 0.25. Well, 1 over 0.25, so 1 over 1 fourth is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. You can take square root of 2. So numbers in this region are going to work. If I try a number like 10, Again, um, we get 1 over 13 minus 2. Well, that's a negative number underneath the radical, so that does not work. So we got values over here that don't work. Values in the middle that do work, negative 3 to the 2.5 do work. But numbers to the right, negative 2.5 do not work. So my interval here, and we, we want to choose uh, values so that we don't get division by 0 as well. So negative 3 is a problem. 
So our domain for this final function starts at negative 3, but we don't include it. And then it goes up to 2.5, but we can include 2.5 because that will give me square root of 0 ultimately, uh, and we can do that. So that is the final domain. If we look at these graphically, we should be able to see that relationship. Okay, so looking at these, uh, if we graph these, obviously that's root x minus 2, so that was f. Uh, we got 1 over x plus 3, that's g. Okay, so graphing those together, and remember what we're going to do here, we're going to go from this function h of x, which is f of g of x. So we're going to take this function, 1 over x plus 3, and put it in there for that x right there, and it should develop something that looks like this, and that's exactly what we found algebraically. Now, if I graph what h of x looks like, again, which, which was f of g of x, we get that image right there, and we see then that that happens between negative 3 and negative 2.5, okay? Not including negative 3. Um, and, and again, that's not something that you would have recognized initially just going through the root arithmetic uh, and saying, okay, less than negative 5 halves and don't include negative 3. You wouldn't, there's, there's nothing algebraically there that would tell us to kick these values over here, like negative 10, negative 8, out, other than substitute and evaluate. Okay, so my suggestion to you, when you find inside your composition restrictions, when you find um, multiple restrictions, okay, and, and one of them or both of them contain uh, less than symbols or greater than. So you've got you've got inequalities. When when things like that occur, go back into you're going to draw your number line. Think of your regions. Okay, so we drew our number line. These were critical points that took our number line, broke it up into three regions, three intervals. Check values out of each one of those intervals. Whether you can keep that interval or kick that interval out based on plugging those values back into the function. Uh, it's going to be a very, very critical thing to do. Uh, it doesn't happen very often, but it is something that, that can be problematic, and hopefully you can see uh, that result from the picture here.